What's good everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to blend and how I get those smooth transitions between colors. Now, before we get into the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let's begin. Now, if you want to follow along with exactly what I'm doing, here's the colors I'll be using. Titanium white. I'll be using quinacridone violet. Dinoxine purple. And for my burgundy mix, I mix phthalo blue mixed with some quinacridone red. For my black mix, I mix burnt umber mixed with ivory black. Now for the brushes, I'll be using my brushes from Treckle. These are my favorite brushes. No, this is not sponsored. I just really like them. <laughs> now I'll be using they're golden taclons, which I have the shader brush and I have the filbert and I'll also be using their long opal brush, which is a synthetic hog. Wait, 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 I forgot. Also, I'll be using liquid as my medium to blend. Now for the drapery I want to do, I want it to be a burgundy type of color going into purple or, or violet. So first off, we got to mix our burgundy. So my approach to mixing burgundy is phthalo blue and quinacridone red. So I'm going to put one part of the red and I'll put one part of the blue. Now I already have some pre-mixed from another project. So this is basically what we're going to, what we're going to get, but just to mix it up here, I'm just going to darken up the color. Now see when it's too dark like this, that means there's much more blue than there is red. So to bring it back to that burgundy, you just mix more red into it. And you can obviously adjust this to your liking. It just really depends on how deep of a color you want to go with. If you go too far with the blue, then it's going to turn purple, which you can see some of it there. So all that means is that I just got to add more red. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you what I already have pre-mixed. I'll show you a spread of that. So what I already got pre-mixed is basically this burgundy color. And like I said, this is the phthalo blue and the quinacridone red. One thing I'm going to also do is mix my own black. So here we have ivory black and we have burnt umber. Now, as I often mention, the burnt umber, it has a reddish tint to it. And with the ivory black, it's a cooler black. So with cooler colors, it has more of a bluish tint to it. So when you put these two together, it's gonna cancel out the blue and it's gonna leave you with a stronger black. Now, as I often do, I like to do a little test run of how the colors mix together. So here I have a swatch again, and I'm just going to run through the gradual changes from darkest to lightest. Now, this is something I would recommend because it's a lot easier than getting the paint on the canvas and you don't like it. Then you have to make the adjustments there. This way you have an idea of what it's going to look like. Now, here's how the color blend would be on the canvas. So here with our quinacridone uh, violet, quinacridone violet, we still need a bit of highlight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some titanium white, not too much, but just a bit to kind of bring out some highlights on the cloth when we actually do it. And so we can kind of gauge how it's going to look. Now, typically what people do is that they'll take these two colors and then they'll mix them together on the palette and then they'll get their lighter color. Sometimes what I like to do is just Straight tape the color and just blend it right into the area that I'm working. So there we have it. 
that's going to be our color transitions. Now we get into the painting portion of this. So the way how I paint is that I start off with my shades, so my darkest areas, just like the spear example, and um, we work our way to the lightest. So there we throw in the burgundy. And actually what happened with the purple is that it was just too dark, so I had to lighten it up a bit with some titanium white. And then now we're going to take that purple and we're just going to use the shader brush to blend it right in and get that nice transition between the colors. Now we're going to go in with the quinacridone red. This is a very strong color, so I just use it sparingly and I just use it to highlight some areas. I mix up some white and the purple again and I bring out some more of those highlights. And now this is the final look and you can see how the colors come together and you can see the transitions between the different shades and the highlights. And there it is. I hope this video helped you guys out. This is just a quick method of how I blend my colors and get those smooth transitions. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.